about you, but sometimes the thought of going to the beach gives me great anxiety. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 tips for how to look luxurious on the beach. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley Delmore, and I put out videos on fashion, beauty, and luxury on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and click subscribe and turn on the bell, and you'll be notified whenever I put out new videos. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to look luxurious on the beach. On my journey to body positivity, I have had many different struggles. And when you're on the beach, let's face it, you don't really have a lot of skin covered when you're on the beach. You're going and getting in the water, you're coming back, you're getting something to drink. You're just kind of out there, right? And so for me, it was important for me to find a way to kind of feel luxurious on the beach and really just kind of help with my body positivity. As I always say, look good, feel good. So I've really worked to kind of create a formula for me that works and helps me feel my best on the beach. Let's get into it. Number one, find the right swimsuit. First things first, every body is a beach body. You just have to find the right swimsuit for your shape that's flattering and that you feel comfortable in. I personally struggle with having larger breasts and it's really hard to find swimsuits because there's not much out there that gives me the right amount of coverage and really gives me support. So that's one of my struggles. But as far as having a luxury look, it's really important to find the right fit. It's okay if you wear a one piece or a two piece, just make sure your swimsuit fits you well and it's the right color for your skin tone. I am really partial to a classic black swimsuit and I found one that I really love from Amazon. It's inexpensive and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll link it down below in the description box. Number two, wear sunscreen. Lobster isn't a flattering color on anyone and everybody can suffer from sunburn regardless of your skin tone. Sunburn is not the only adverse effect from excess sun exposure. You can also have wrinkles, age spots, peeling, all of these things don't look very luxurious on the beach. Healthy looks luxurious, so that's why it's important to select a sunscreen that has at least SPF 30 to make sure you're protecting yourself from any adverse effects of excess sun exposure. My favorite sunscreen is made by La Roche-Posay and it's called Antelios and I'll link it in the description box, but it really helps to keep my skin not only moisturized, but protected from the sun. Number three, wear minimum jewelry. Have you ever seen the episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians where Kim loses her $75,000 diamond earring in the ocean? And did you see all the memes that were created out of her miserable situation? That's why I really recommend that you don't wear expensive jewelry at the beach. I only wear jewelry at the beach that I would be okay with losing. After all, I don't have a sister that's going to find my diamond earring in the middle of the ocean with the sand and the current moving through and moving everything around. So that's why it's best to just leave your expensive jewelry at home. Number four, wear minimal makeup. So going to the beach is not the time to be full beat. I think it looks kind of silly because the minute you get into the water and you get a splash from a wave or you're just kind of in the sun and you're sweating, it really just ruins your makeup. So for that reason, I tend to stick to really minimal makeup on the beach and it's also mostly waterproof. My current beach routine looks a little bit like this. I wear a waterproof tinted moisturizer I wear a waterproof eyeliner and mascara. I use a liquid highlighter and I use a multi-purpose cheek and lip stick. And that's really going to get me through most of the day. I'll bring that multi-purpose lip and cheek stick with me just for touch-ups, but for the most part, I'm really not trying to be full beat on the beach. I'm just trying to make sure I feel put together, but it's functional for where I am. I think a lot of looking luxurious on the beach is just kind of knowing that your skin and being healthy in that skin is the most important thing. So wearing too much makeup really doesn't have a place on the beach and doesn't look luxurious in my opinion. Number five, take care of all grooming. When you're on the beach, you're really exposed. There's a lot of skin out there and you don't really have much between you and 
being exposed to the world. So for that reason, I'm really picky about my grooming when I'm on the beach. I like to make sure that I'm not wearing any chipped nail polish on my fingers or my toes. I make sure to get waxed that week or shave that week. Just make sure it's not too close to when you're going to the beach because the salt water can really burn. And I also try to make sure that I exfoliate that week and moisturize really well, just so my skin looks really smooth and healthy. Because again, healthy is really luxurious. Number six, find the right cover-up. Finding the right beach cover-up is essential to your luxurious beach look. I like to find a cover-up that will take me from the beach to lunch on a patio effortlessly. I really like to have that type of flexibility with my clothes. So I'm really partial to a maxi length cover-up. I think that it just looks really, really elegant and I love the way that it moves with the breeze. Number seven, carry a nice beach tote. Picture a luxurious woman on the beach. She's not carrying her belongings in a grocery tote or a giveaway tote that she received from a career fair. She's carrying either a straw or raffia tote bag that makes her outfit look perfectly polished. This season, I invested in the Loewe Straw Tote Bag and I'm really excited to use it on the beach. I did a full review on that bag and I'll link that in the description box below. But you don't have to spend that much money on a straw or raffia tote. There are plenty of affordable options that you can find at most major retailers and I'll link some options below. It's just really important that you find a great bag that will hold your essentials and helps you really achieve that luxurious look on the beach that you're looking for. Number eight, no foam flip-flops, choose nicer sandals. Foam flip-flops are everywhere and they're really inexpensive. The problem is they don't look very luxurious, they look really cheap. I also don't find them to be very comfortable. So for that reason, I recommend that you find a nicer sandal and there are lots of options out there. One of my favorite sandals is the Tory Burch Miller sandal. I had a pair for about five years in the tan color that I absolutely loved because it went with so many different outfits and they really lasted and held up really well over lots of different terrains. I actually featured these videos in a pack with me video I did a couple of weeks ago and I'll link that below. Unfortunately for me, those sandals met their demise when my puppy got a hold of them and chewed them to pieces. Fortunately, I have a wonderful mom and for my birthday, she got me a new pair of Tory Burch Miller sandals, but this time she got me the cloud version. The cloud version is great because it takes the best of both worlds. It really gives you the nice leather emblem that Tory Burch Miller sandals are famous for, and it also gives you a much thicker footbed that's much more comfortable for long-term wear. I'm really excited about these and I'm already in love. If you're looking for a more inexpensive sandal, Target has lots of great leather sandals and slides that are really inexpensive and they will look very luxurious on the beach, especially compared to a foam flip-flop. Number nine, wear a hat. Wearing a hat on the beach is great because not only does it finish off your luxurious beach look, but it also gives you some sun protection. A lot of people really like to wear a fedora hat because it's really simple and very classic. I personally love an oversized floppy sun hat. I really like this style of hat because it gives you maximum sun protection and it really elevates your look. My favorite oversized floppy sun hat is this one by the MAC collection. It's called the Maldives hat. And I love this hat because not only does it really give you sun protection, but it's also so extra and I'm here for it. Number 10, wear a classic pair of sunglasses. A great pair of sunglasses will really help to elevate your luxurious beach look and it will also protect your eyes from harmful UV rays from the sun. I really like to shop for luxury goods at Saks Off Fit and Nordstrom Rack. I really prefer to go in-store because I tend to find that they have a better selection in stores than they do online. I was able to pick up two pairs of sunglasses this season from Saks Off Fit and Nordstrom Rack. The first pair that I have is a Celine pair and it's black and a classic oversized cat eye shape. I love Celine shapes. 
I find them to be very classic with a little bit of an edge to them. However, I don't love the price tag of Celine sunglasses all the time. This particular pair of Celine sunglasses originally retailed for $390, but I was able to find this pair at Saks Off Fit for $160, so $230 off of retail. This is a great find for me as I love Celine sunglasses. The second pair I got was a pair from Chloe and I got these from Nordstrom Rack and they are a tortoise shell frame in an oversized shape that's kind of flat at the top with a rounded bottom. These sunglasses are absolutely beautiful and I'm really excited that I found them. They were originally $280 but I found this pair for $80 at Nordstrom Rack so that's a savings of $200. I'm really excited to wear these out and about. Do you have any tips for being luxurious at the beach? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to see you here. Until the next video, bye.